the brothers of the forest lodge 202. And we swear this sacred oath each time we meet. If a brother is in trouble, be he big or be he small, a brother of the forest will hearken to his call. A brother of the forest lodge 202. Zimbala, zumbala, ra, ra, ra. Meeting adjourned. Gee, that was a swell meeting. Nice to get away from the wife and cubs for a while. Good seeing you, Al. So long, Hyman. Promised the old lady I'd be home early. See you at the next meeting, Charlie. Boy, I sure do love these lodge meetings. Yeah, I like them too. Say, you want to go bowling, little buddy? Nah, not tonight. I'm going to go home and turn in. Well, good night, shorty. Good night, tiny. Tom, 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 tom. There. If I say so myself, I do set out a very appetizing picnic. Now all I got to do is wait for the food to arrive. Well, look at here. A picnic. I'm just gonna grab me a little snack before I turn in. That's funny. I had the same idea. Okay, Aunt. You got any last words? Yep. I got one. Zimbala, Zimbala. Hey, what kind of word was that? My little buddy in trouble and I will hearken to his call. Why don't you pick on somebody your own size? With a mouth as small as mine, I got to pick on somebody his size or I'll stop. Gee, thanks, Tiny. It's sure swell to have a large brother to protect me. Zimbala Zumala. You mean? Him, too? Naturally. He's president of our local chapter. Thank you, Prez. Someday I got to remember to grease his grapevine. Sure nice of you to see me safely home, Tiny. Think nothing of it, little buddy. We're large brothers, ain't we? I'm counting on you to break up a beautiful friendship. Do your stuff, Mouse. A mouse. I'm allergic to me. Are you hurt, little buddy? No, Tiny. I'm just fine. That's good. Nobody asks me if I'm hurt. Are you hurt? Yeah, yeah. I'm hurt. Good. This is such a good fit, it's practically a convulsion. Here they come. Are you comfy, little buddy? I sure am, Tiny. Who yet? I'll take over now. He ain't a member of our lodge. Hey, you! Get the gang gang man. Thank you, brother member. If I had as many friends as that ant, I'd run for governor. Well, I guess we got rid of that pesky old ant here. But keep on look at, you never know. Zimba Zumala! I got you, you chubby little morsel. Fasten your seatbelt. We're taking off. When we reach 10,000 feet, we'll have lunch. Ah, at last, peace. I'll pull this plug, and we can also have quiet. You naughty ant! You turned off the fan! In that case, I better bail out. It's a good thing us ants carry parachutes. I'll be back as soon as I get this plugged in. Better hurry. Ground Zero coming up. <laughs> if I can get it in, I better land in that soft water lake. Well, I got it in. Mother used to say, always work on an elephant's vanity. It's their weak spot. Here he comes. I better duck out of sight. Do you have a weight problem? Weigh yourself free. Plus, free fortune car. Wait here, shorty. I better not wait both of us together. Hey, wait, Tiny. It might be a booby trap. You're right, little pal. I better check it out. Free fortune. You 
you should have stayed in bed. Now we tell You saved my life, little buddy. Oh, think nothing of it, Tiny. Well, another beautiful day. I wonder if my loyal Lodge brothers are on the ball to protect me. I'll test them out. Zimbala, Zimbala. You cold? Hey, don't tell me you joined the Brothers of the Forest Lodge. That's absolutely correct. You finally convinced me about brotherly love. I don't believe it. Believe it. Believe it. Nobody loves ants better than I do.